What's up everyone? Today I'm going to teach you how to fix a cookie scoop. As you can see here, my cookie scoop got off track and now the bar which scoops things out of the scoop uh, is off track and is pointing straight out. It should look something more like this. So if you want to learn how to fix this, keep watching. All right, guys, I found two ways to fix this cookie scoop. I'm gonna show you each way. I think one is, I'm gonna call it the right way and I'm gonna call the other way the wrong way. I like the wrong way. It's much quicker, much uh, faster, but it's a little bit more harmful to your cookie scoop. Um, so let me go ahead and show you how to do the right way first. So here is, uh, I have two cookie scoops. This is my one that I'm gonna use to kind of show you how it works. So there's a gear uh, that runs on a tooth, uh, another gear or a bar with teeth, okay? And then there's the scoop, what I'm gonna call this the little lever, the scoop lever, uh, probably an awful name for it, but that will pop out. If you pop that out, you still can't access the rest of the shaft with the, uh, um, with the gear on it because there's this cap on the end. So I think the best way, the less, least harmful way to, to uh, fix your cookie scoop is to remove this cap. You can do it very easily with just a set of pliers. Uh, let me backtrack real quick. The tools I use here to fix this are maybe just uh, a pair of regular pliers and a pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, both have come in pretty handy. So um, I'm gonna remove this on my other cookie scoop, the one that I broke. Um, so as you see, I did that, but the reason I don't like this way is because now this doesn't stay on there very tight. So I'm going to have to glue it or set it on some on top, on back onto the shaft somehow. Uh, I think the best way to do that is probably using some JB Weld, which you can find like Amazon or your, your hardware store or wherever, uh, maybe even like Walmart. But see, that's a lot of work uh, in my opinion. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you the, uh, what I call the wrong way, okay? Um, first, let me show you, if you do take the cap off, boom, and then you can take, pop this out of the sphere, the scoop sphere, okay? And that will free up the shaft. You see, it just popped out, okay? So now I can reset it onto the, the correct teeth here. Pop this back in once it's all set, and then line it back up, okay? When you line this up, you want it to be aligned on the right side of your cookie scoop. And uh, the reason for that is because if you do it the wrong way, on the left side of the cookie scoop, let me get this back in there real quick. Come on. Uh, while I have this apart, the spring will, might pop out on you, and if it does, no big deal. It just goes right back into these buttons. Uh, that's an awful name for it, but they're not buttons, but that's what I'm gonna call them. So, okay, back to this. If you put it on the left side and your scoop might be opposite, maybe for left-handed, I don't know if they make left-handed scoops, but if they do, maybe you wanna do it, um, make sure you're doing it on the right side, the, the correct side, um, because your scoop might scoop outwards like this. And that's not what you want. You want your scoop to follow the inside of the sphere. So just be a little cautious or um, cautious, uh, uh, just aware of that, okay? So what we're gonna do, let's put the spring back in. And see the wrong way, what I call the wrong way, you don't even have to deal with the spring. Uh, so I think that's a huge plus. So let me set this back in. There, see there's some grooves on the shaft here, which will let you go back into the slot in the sphere. So what I'm trying to do now is line that up. It's kind of hard to do while you're trying to be, uh, while you're trying to keep this in frame with the camera, so bear with me guys, sorry. Just fast forward a little bit if you don't want to see this. There we go, got it. Um, hope you didn't fast forward too far. Uh, okay, good, great. So like I said, uh, for my cookie scoop, because it's a right-handed scoop, I'm gonna keep it on the right side, okay? Um, now what you wanna do is actually pop, pop it out of the hole in the base, line this back up, see this uh, tab here, will meet with the uh, gear bar, and we're gonna call that a gear bar, uh, prevent it from going any further. So just do that. And then while keeping this on the right side flush with the sphere, you're gonna pop it back into the hole. Boom, like that. See, it's flush. This is all back and now when I do my scoop, see, it goes all the way from one edge to the other edge. And uh, you see, I didn't have my 
stuff tightened up so it just collapsed. But had I tightened it up, the shaft, uh, and then it should have been fine. Okay, but now I'm going to show you how to do it the wrong way, okay? So it's just our scoop's already pretty messed up, so no big deal. Get back to the... Uh, there we go. Okay, scoop's messed up. Um, so all I'm going to do, see the scoop is not flush at all. It's outside of the sphere. I'm going to take my needle nose pliers. And I'm going to bend this tab upwards. That's all I'm going to do. Okay, so you can see why this is probably not as good for your cookie scoop. But I mean, this is some quality metal on my scoop. So it's gonna bend back, it's gonna still be fine. Can't even really tell I scratched it that bad. So so now my, my lever will open. Uh, and if you are if you just bend it slightly, I bent it very far. So this totally comes uh, detached from the gear. But if you kind of just do it a little bit, then you won't have to deal with even allowing your uh, handles to totally come apart so your spring won't come out. So now that I've done that, you just want to kind of push the gear down Twist the shaft to where it needs to be, right side flush, and then line it back up, and then just bend down that tab again. Okay, so let me get to it, here we go. Already, it's looking pretty good. Let me, oh, sorry, I'm off frame. I'm very bad at that, guys, I'm my bad. Cool, that looks really good. I know you can't see the, uh, the sphere the scoop part, but I've bent that back. That's good. That is awesome. It looks great. Um, so, like I said, if you do it the right the right way, then you're gonna have to JB weld that. If you do it the wrong way, then you're gonna be done much quicker and uh, it's gonna be less painful. So up to you how you wanna do it guys, but that is how to fix a cookie scoop.